Good afternoon. My name is Gilda Carbonaro, and I'm the mother of Sergeant Alessandro Carbonaro. Um, I have been a member of uh, Military Family Speak Out and then became um, a member of Gold Star Family Speak Out when my son was killed in Iraq um, in 2006. He um, was killed um, uh, doing reconnaissance missions. He was the team leader of a uh, uh, team of Marines uh, in, um, in uh, the Al Ambar province. Um, I'm speaking to you today to um, try to describe to you what it was like those years before our son was killed in the run-up to the war and in the years after that. Um, when George Bush um, began to uh, speak of invading Iraq after 9-11, we were, um, we were devastated. Uh, our son had become, had re-enlisted in the Marines after 9-11 in his, in his uh, sentiments to, to be protected. He was a Marine. Um, and so we were devastated when George Bush announced that he was going to be uh, invading Iraq. We, we know our history. We, know, we, know, we knew then what would happen. In fact, we wrote many letters titled The Pandora's Box. And I'm sorry to say how, how prescient it, our emails were. Our son uh, was deployed um, for the uh, assault on Fallujah where he was injured um, and then was sent back again. He came home from, from the attack on Fallujah and then <clears throat> was sent back to, to Iraq um, where he wouldn't last even a month. It was in 2006 where it was impossible to stay alive if you were out on the field in Iraq. Um, they, they wanted us out of there. They, we had no business there and, and, um, and they wanted us out of there and they were doing it the best way they could with bombs. And um, our son was injured and uh, we went to Landstuhl to see him for the last, the last moments that he had of life. Um, I would like to um, say something to you regarding um, losing a son and losing an only child to war, to, to a war like this, which was based on outrageous lies. Um, it's easy to, to um, look away from, from me, but please listen. Um, our life before our son was killed was, was a horror, living moment to moment, not knowing when you, when you would get the call. And then the death of that child, that child that you raised, um, that child that was only 28 years old with an, an entire life ahead of him to live. Um, it's, uh, well, you'll never understand. It doesn't matter what I tell you. You'll never understand what it's like. But I would like to, for you to understand that, um, that a president that lies about war the way George Bush did and all his administration, um, there has to be accountability for that. Um, there has to be some kind of justice for the lives of those souls that died, that didn't have a chance to live. Where these people who called, who, who called for this war are now living very pleasant lives and very soon will gather around a table to celebrate Thanksgiving and not have a thought about 
the sadness that they caused is um, it's not right. And there should be justice and there should be accountability. And uh, other countries have called for this. There has been the Chilcot report in England and we should have ours. It's only right, it's only fair in the name of all those men and women who didn't have a chance to live, who went and fought a war that should never have been fought.